Hey guys, new video here. Uh, also realized that in my last video, I actually didn't say, hey guys, new video here. So I'm gonna say it again. So it makes up for the last video if you even watched that one, okay? So, hey guys, new video here. Um, today, I realized that uh, I've been playing a lot of PoE, really enjoying the league. League's great, everyone's happy with it for the most part. And, um, you know, I wanted to divert a little bit from the, uh, the videos about like, maybe I'm helping a lot of new players, you know, uh, maybe answering questions, uh, PoE mechanics. And I, I've been having a lot of fun just going through the subreddit, just looking at other people's POE content, other people's memes, you know, posts on the red, things like that. Um, and then add some context to it, right? Because whenever I look at something, I'm always like, um, POE on the Reddit, and when you see like some memes or like some posts, right? There's it's always a, a yes, but situation, right? Like, like you see this meme, and you're like, yeah, but you know, there's always a little bit more to it. So I want to go into that and, and just talk about some of my favorite things um from this week. And you guys like these kinds of videos, we can do more of them where I just talk about like, you know, things in the Pee Wee community, things that pop up, things I found interesting. Um, and uh, these are just one take videos. So, you know, it, I might be a little bit inaccurate about things or some things might be paraphrased or um, uh, like truncated. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so the first one I saw this and this is on the front page right, right now and it's the Ethercraft armor set. So if you haven't been paying attention, um, it always surprised me how many people they don't look at the login screen, right? Like when you, when you go to your game, and uh, whenever you log into the game here, you're going to be blasted by this little home, this landing screen, right? Where you have like the news of the day, you have some uh, some announcements. Usually like it's like split between like good like news, patches, hotfixes and uh, and MTX releases, right? You guys don't know there's a there's a sale going on on stash tabs. Pretty good. Get on that. It's about every three weeks. Uh, really good deal. So it's always amazing to me how many people don't look at this and they have like no idea what's going on, right? Um, especially on like patch day when uh, patches come out and they're like, hey, can I get the patch notes? Can you link the patch notes? And it's like literally like in the browser so uh, I, I digress here um let's go back to this uh if you haven't been paying attention uh the past few days there's been a different kind of uh ethercraft uh set released and if you go to the peewee uh youtube right like the actual official one um it's always interesting to note that the highest uh ratio of like like dislike you know it, like in in not in their favor like higher um, ratio of dislikes to likes is always on the mtx um a little bit confusing for me i understand the mtx is pretty pretty darn expensive if you just compare it flat to um any other games but like i don't want to get into this right now because you can talk about this for hours right but for the most part mtx is quite expensive um in path of exile and they released quite a lot of them uh the past few days they've been releasing this kind of theme and there's four different colors there's like an armor set there's a back attachment there's like a um an aura effect that you can put on any aura and um some people are like make funny memes like you know oh nice nice control c control v right and the way I the way I look at this, right, because this is kind of uh, what, what's been going on with the uh, the things, and they release them like every single day. Um, I don't really mind, you know. I, I see it as kind of like let's say I go to like a store, right? Like I go to like I don't know uh, what, what is like what did normies go to Banana Republic, right? I, I like Banana Republic. Um, you go to Banana Republic, and when you look at a shirt, right, and it's like a, like a nice little cotton, hundred percent cotton, you know, uh, fitted T shirt. Uh, you don't really get mad that there's like a white one, a blue one, a black one, a pink one, a green one. You know, you don't get you don't get mad that you have different selections, right? Um, even though all the shirts were probably like similar to make, right? Like when I go buy some cereal, you know, some oatmeal, um, I don't really mind that like so one of them is like, you know, like whole grain. One of them is like another one. And one of them is like, you know, different colors and flavors. You know, I don't care that my Fruity Pebbles are like different kinds, you know, the chocolate version. Okay, so um, I think it's kind of silly to get mad over this kind of stuff. But this meme was especially good. Um, because there is something to say about releasing the, uh, the MTX, not all at once, right? Um, and release them day after day so that you get that kind of like psychological thing going where it's like, it's like yesterday I got the cool thing, but then today there's a cooler thing and that looks cool. And then tomorrow's going to be, there's an even cooler thing and I want to buy that. So psychologically, you know, it, it, instead of just like picking the one that you think is coolest all at once, all your options are in front of you. It's kind of like uh, spread out to like make a little bit more money. Once again, I, I don't care, right? I, if I like something, I'll buy. If I don't like something, I, I don't buy. But I'm in a unique position where, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, it's uh, it's like not really that expensive to me, and uh, it, uh, uh, tax uh, expense on my taxes, okay? Because yeah, straight in the game. So uh, with that said, I I think that uh, going forward, like look at these MTX. If you want to have a good time, look at the comments of any of the MTX threads. Look at the YouTube videos. Sometimes it gets so bad. Like I remember the. Uh, the cowboy one there's a cowboy and indians one i think it's called like smuggler no not smuggler what was it called it was called like um 
uh, I don't know, it was, it was a skeleton cowboy versus uh, Native American, right? And uh, it got so bad where, like, if you went into the uh, MTX, I'll just log in here. If you went into the MTX window to buy it, uh, you know how there's a preview video? So you can go to the YouTube channel and it'll play the video to show you what they look like, the previews. Um, they had to, like, remove that. Uh, like, there was no preview video anymore after, like, a few hours because there were so many people, like, losing their minds. Um, hey, look at this MTX. There's a Pegasus right here. I've that's that's a I, I have this is a really nice one blocks up a lot of screen though um so yeah uh if you want to have a good time definitely look at the comments on any of the mtx releases they're usually uh pretty heated sort of controversial and and you'll get some uh some nice means okay people feel very very strongly um about these uh these mtx releases and i do wish that they would risen all at a time but overall just like try to try to focus on the game and not so much about um, <clears throat> you know the, like the rate at which they release them or the colors because it's better i think it, you know it's not it's not that bad to have other options and uh, of course you know they don't finish these like like day day after day at the same exact time right it's obviously a strategy but uh, I, I think it's pretty much uh okay and and we'll see a lot more of this going forward so um you know uh okay so the uh, next thing i want to talk about is uh this so uh the daily not maybe not daily but the weekly uh scam alerts on the poe reddit okay uh, every league especially in the beginning usually in the first week or two there are uh, a few posts like this uh relating different uh scams right people think that like oh i want people to know that this person's trying to scam i want to warn the noobs um but sometimes it has the opposite effects so this right here if you look if you have no idea what's going on you you play soul cell found uh, exclusively you've never traded um there are uh, very very common scams the most common scams uh that we have today uh, are going to be a swap and uh of, of usually a gem or a six link okay and uh, if you have if you do play the trade league you'll probably encounter at least one of these uh, in your playtime, depending on how much you play what's going on here for the people that have no idea is that this person is trying to buy a six link shafts okay um there are items in the game such as chevronis and uh, carcass jack uh, where the missing link kind of uh, is filled in by the armor's art style so if you look right here this link right here between the fourth and fifth socket is missing this is not a six link so this shabs might be one point something exalts um however if it was six link it might be seven eight nine exalts depending on how close you are to yeah this one's 149 so this one is one percent off perfect for the es and six percent off perfect for the lightning res so pretty damn good one this one um you know yesterday day before might have sold for like eight nine exalts right so what people do is um they will put it into the trade window and hope that you don't see that it is not six linked and then you'll put in your your exalts they'll press accept and you'll be like oh wow this is not six linked right and then you've lost you know, you know seven eight exalts um another thing that they'll try to do just to like educate the noobs out there who might this might be your first trade league because of like huge number of concurrent players uh, on poe is that um the more the more intelligent and non-bots right because there are bots that do this but the more intelligent way to do this okay and uh, you're asking for a friend right um is you put it you, they, they might even put in an actual six link and uh, you might put in some amount of currency and they'll cancel the trade and reinitiate the trade after you've moused over meaning that um you in your mind you're like oh i already moused over it i see it's a six link good so when they cancel the trade and they trade you again you're already in like kind of like the mindset that it's already it's, it is the same items as before but then they'll put an unlinked one okay um another variation that is done um with this uh shafts or it, with any item really is um let's say an item is listed for um uh, just for easy numbers, 1.5 exalts, right? So today that would be one exalt and 40 C. Um, you put in the one exalt, the 40 C, right? They put in the actual item and then they'll cancel and they'll say one exalt 35 C. And you're like, wait, what? Like what? That's a better deal for me, right? And you get really excited. You're like, oh, I want to accept this trade because in your mind, you're thinking, oh, they're doing you a favor, right? Like they're trying to help you by saying that the, the exalt rate is actually in your favor. And they're like reminding you, right? So you're super happy. And then what you do is you put in yours, you click accept right away by mousing over the item and it's a different item. Um, and, and this is uh, another way that they'll get you. So please watch out for this. Uh, if you're a newer player, um, you know, anybody can fall for this, right? No matter how experienced you are, you're tired, you know, because there's a meme like just don't get scanned forehead. You literally have to mouse over the item. You literally have to put your mouse over it and check it yourself before you hit accept, right? But, um, you know, it, it does happen. So um, be careful of that. And um, a common rule, if you take nothing else away from this, okay? Um, the, the rule that I've always lived by is if you are trading, um, if there is ever a cancel trade, okay, for any reason, it, it could be like your mom trading you. It could be like your, you know, your, your closest friend trading you. If anyone ever cancels a trade, you see trade canceled and you don't get the item and they reinitiate the trade, just always assume you're going to get scammed and, and you'll never get scammed. That's how you do it, right? Just always assume that when there's a trade cancel, 
it is going to be a hundred percent scam and that is how i've i've kind of avoided um um you know uh not getting scammed uh well at least on stream i've never gotten scammed okay uh off stream uh you know uh you know i uh, might have uh, cried in the bathroom for a few hours okay so um yeah so just be very vigilant here another funny thing about this is that um i find that these posts on reddit um actually are are not so good because although it does bring awareness to some um this is kind of like uh it, it kind of encourages some uh unscrupulous people to kind of learn how this is done because think about it like this right um if i'm on stream and i'm streaming i'm like hey man i'm, I'm glad that uh i'm glad that uh, i'm not doing that that uh delirium uh exploit yeah man hey hey my guild some of my guildmates are doing that delirium uh node exploit if i say something like that right and i'm like hey don't do that you know what's the first thing people do people are going to google delirium exploit poe forum bug report right they're going to just google it right away because they want to know so um by putting this i think this actually like makes people like scam more for some reason um is this just how poe is it's kind of like weird like that um now don't worry if you're a newer player it's like poe is not full of like you know pirates and hackers and and things like that it's really not right but you but it is enough where um if you are like like power trading you get really into the game the game you're doing tons of trades tons of bulk um you know and i do this where like if i'm trading something under 100 c if it's a uh, bulk like like prophecy scarabs um like anything where like i, I don't want to check every i don't I, i'll do it too but like you know you don't lose that much so um for stuff like this like it kind of reminds me of when um i had this high school drama teacher named mr lin and he told me that when he was a, a very young kid right growing up in the midwest uh he was like really struggling right he was almost homeless and him and his friends what they would do is um they would go like touristy areas in big cities and they would put out a little sign and the sign would say um beware of uh pickpockets in this area right it was like one of those like little like wet wet floor signs like little fold out signs and they put it in a high traffic tourist area and that sign, all those warning people, right? Because they are the pickpockets. Um, that would make people like touch their wallet or something, and then they go and pickpocket, them, right? So like th these kind of posts are uh, are, are kind of like weird in my opinion, but you know I just want to talk about because these always show up. And um, the other one that people do to watch out for if you're a noob is uh, empower enlighten. Okay, so enlighten four, they might swap it out for enlighten three, things like that. Okay, uh, and uh, yeah. Another thing to look out for is uh, if you ever get a lush hideout, uh, for some reason, all the trade bots, all the bots, and uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the scammers use like the lush hideout with an unascended ranger or like a shadow or something like that. Okay, that if you go to if you go to one of those hideouts, you might be like, hmm, hmm, you know. So just be a little bit cautious. But really, it's uh, it's not too much to worry about. Um, and yeah, and if you're that if you're that tired, we're like not checking your trade. Maybe you should go to sleep, anyways. Okay. Next, next thing I want to talk about. So we have a uh, a nice little meme here, right? So this is grinding gear, taking out the uh, the assassin. Now assassin lost some moves, speed, lost some other things on the ascendancy. Uh, pretty, I'd say pretty big nerf, sure. Um, but the assassin was just so good overall, right? And then so there it is. You know, grinding gear takes that, and then boom, the assassin is back, right? So this is a funny meme, and you even have. Uh, I'm not gonna post the quotes here because uh, I want to post. Uh, you know, like uh, I, I don't want get. I, I don't want to like go find them. I'm kind of lazy, and you know, it, it gets a little bit out of hand, but. There's um, a lot of comments on Reddit when this was announced that Assassin was getting nerfed. I was like, oh man, Assassin's getting nerfed. And a lot of people are like, oh, Assassin's dead, dead Assassin's, no one's going to be playing it, right? And as it turns out, this 13%, if you don't know, is a website called uh, PoE Ninja. Now, PoE Ninja kind of um, takes all the classes, all the builds, all the items they're using, at least public profiles, and um, they will put them all on this site for easy perusal. You can look at pretty much any combination of items, skill gems, um, you know, classes, that kind of stuff. Um, one thing about it is that in the early week, you know, if you're above like level 90, you'll probably be listed here. Later on, you gotta be kind of close to 100, and that's that's actually pretty good, right? Because like, if I'm looking here for a build or like to get ideas, right, or to steal builds, uh, let, let, let's be honest, dude, everyone's done it, right? Everyone's done. It. You click on you click on the top people and you steal their build. Okay, d d don't try to lie. Don't try to don't, don't try to pretend you didn't do it. But um, for this, uh, I, I think it's good that they aggregate the um, the top uh, level players because I don't care about what some level 80 who's going to change his gear in the next hour and when he logs off, I'll have to look at something else. I don't care about that, right? I only care about the people who actually grind the game um, and grind the game enough to get to a decent level, like 90 plus at the very, very minimum, but probably 90, you know, like 92, 93 about um, where the build is nearing its, um, you know, uh, or it's either completed or nearing its completion and very few things will change, right? 
Um, so you can kind of take a look at it like that. Uh, there's arguments we had, like obviously, uh, it, it, I played a lot of World of Warcraft recently, and something I noticed is that the best performing classes were usually played by the best players, because the best players can provide the best parses, which lead better players who want to min-max into those classes, into those looking at those parses, and then they themselves become better, better players, and also at least like worse players joining that that class, you know, like Unholy Death Knights and stuff, and uh, you know, uh, what else, uh, like Fire Mages, Hunters, things like that. So, um, you know, that's something to see in PoE as well, right? It doesn't, like, just because something's high level doesn't mean that it's a good player, because, like, what really is skill in PoE? Is it just, like, knowledge, I guess, um, and, and how much you can play, maybe? So, um, when you're looking at this website, right, it's kind of funny. So, we have um, Assassin right here at 13%, Necromancer at 13%, and then you have all of these um, down here, right? And then we have Juggernaut that some people are playing. Um, okay, not really. No, no one's really playing Juggernaut. Berserker got huge buffs, but, you know, 1% play so but if you look at this it's actually pretty good um i don't know i don't remember off the top of my head because pv ninja is still relatively new website um i don't remember if there was a, a class balance that was this healthy right the difference between 13 percent people playing um, and five percent in total numbers is not that big uh, when you're taking the the top uh classes and another thing to note that you can use this for is uh that's really interesting is um let's say we take two arbitrary classes that we haven't seen up here before right uh like not not that high up there like a gladiator i guess and pathfinder so if we take a look at assassin here, um, we can see that there are about uh, maybe like eight, right? Eight level 100 uh, assassins right now uh, in the softcore league, right? And this is softcore league is good to look at because it's like truly blasting. You get to min max to it in a way where you get the big efficiency. You don't care about dying. You just, you just farm really hard. You have a really strong character and getting to 100 is a sign, I'd say, of a strong character because you didn't die um, that much. Now, obviously, people could do pure Chayubi runs all day long. Um, they can do you know, five way legion and stuff like that, right? Head under. But um, for the most part, right now, no one's doing that, right? These are just like natural, um, most of these are natural progression. So you can like look at the bills, like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, so you can see there's about eight assassins that are level uh, 100 with plenty more uh, in the high, like, you know, tons of level 97s. Now, this is interesting because it's 13% of the player base, right? And um, you can see, you know, remember, assassin in, in most people's minds, right? Uh, has been nerfed now let's take a look at gladiator here now gladiator has eight percent representation but it doesn't have a single level 100 although things like bleed blow you know you can kind of tell like bleed build last rate reeve um these things are, are decent builds right so that's also something that to keep in mind uh when you're when you're thinking about like nerfs and changes like hmm you know that doesn't really make much sense there if, uh, if assassin got nerfed so hard why are there so many more level 100 assassins than gladiators now let's just take pathfinder too right i'm gonna close this i'm gonna click on pathfinder and pathfinder only has three level hundreds even though pathfinder is like pretty speedy right um flask fighter is what the nickname is so these are kind of interesting things i like to look at this from time to time and do little recaps and think like why is that you know like look at the top builds and uh, and see what these people are doing because these are probably like like some of the better players in terms of pure grind right like they just they just grind it out real early and that is fantastic okay and uh, if you if you guys ever maybe i'll make another video i made a video about pewee ninja before but um you know it's it's a really cool website maybe i'll make an updated video on how to use it and and kind of like you know how to steal builds better right so uh there you go um next thing i want to talk about is uh the ritual league now uh, Ritual League is pretty hilarious uh, because it's a lot of monsters. Uh, the monsters kind of like accumulate into each other so that, you know, you get massive drops, massive maps sustained. It's a really, really good league. People are having a lot of fun. Um, this is my friend Soulpool. Uh, great guy, by the way. And uh, what he did is he, I think he deferred like some, some splinters and like 2C or something <laughs> instead of grabbing the five exalts. And this was just hilarious to me because um, I've kind of like uh, been in the same boat where sometimes I forget to mouse over a div card or a prophecy or something that could be really, really good, right? Um, so uh, a little uh, word of caution to people. Uh, he's also, okay, uh, he's also uh, showing portal scrolls and wisdom scrolls on his uh, loot filter for some reason. So uh, so now he's now I have, to un I have to unfollow him now. And uh, if you're watching this, Soul Bowl, I'm sorry, I, I have to do it. Um, okay, also, he, he copied my exalt filter uh, for the wisdom and portals, by the way. Okay, I just want everyone to know that he, he copied me on that. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, new player warning. Just make sure you just be cautious because if you defer other things, you're not going to have the, the money or the, I guess not the money, the tribute, right, which is the money in the Ritual League um, to defer your, uh, your items like this. And I, I just think that everyone who plays this league long enough is probably going to have one of these situations. Hopefully, it's not five exalts. Like, this is actually the first time I've seen a five exalt stack um in the league so uh just make sure you look at all your options make sure you don't leave your map like i do all the time where you forget to even look at the ritual counter after all the things are done um and this is really unfortunate but be careful 
Uh, next, okay, and for the uh, the final closing note of this video, uh, we have the drama of the day, right? Uh, I got this from some like other little wow videos where I was like listening to the news of the day, and they were like, "Hey, here's some drama of the day." I was like, "Ooh, drama of the day!" And my ears like perked up. I was like, "Ooh, what's what's juicy with Blizzard and like you know the wow community, right?" So I want to add that in here if there's anything funny, and there is. And the drama of the day, or I guess of the week, of the month, of the year, is the uh, I guess like the TFT Discord. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, TFT is. Uh, is uh is is code for uh the forbidden trove it's a website um in harvest that could you could search for harvest crafts in your hoardy benches it's also a very active discord where um it's known for uh mirror servicing uh any kind of service you can think of right killing cyrus killing your map boss you, know, you can't do your reflect map get someone in there for that trading uh trading crafts uh vouching There's, they have this like point system with vouches where um the more points you have uh, like my friend MP had like I think the record number of points. The more points you have, the more voucher, the the more trustworthy you are. So it's a, it's kind of a credit system, okay? And um, it has it's it's known for like um, you know just being a a kind of almost like a third party um, program in, in a sense, uh, akin to like Awaken Trade or something like that, where you would use that to um, you know further your um, or I, I guess like add quality of life to the trade system, okay? So beyond that, um, I've never had an issue with any any TFT. I don't really. I don't once again, I don't really care. I have no skin in the game. You know, I use it when it's when I need something that can only be found there, like a cert like a like a harvest, um, harvest crafting services that, you know, I don't really want to like, you know, spend two hours doing. I can just post it and someone whisper in game. Um, and uh, it's it's been pretty good. I, my interactions with all the people have been good. But however, the drama is that people have been getting randomly banned. I think someone in my chat told me that SK Cloudy got banned just for associating with someone um that was like had some beef with like the, the admins of TFT. And basically, it's, it's kind of funny, right? Because if you read this through this post, it's kind of like people are getting banned just because, um, not for like scamming people or anything like that, but just because like they don't like, they're not liked by certain members uh, in the TFT Discord. And I, I get that, right? It's a private Discord. Um, so they are akin to, um, or they, they are uh, more than uh, more than welcome to do whatever moderation actions uh, they want, right? But there is some really spicy, um, there is some really, really spicy uh, comments down here that I really enjoyed. And this one right here is especially good. So this is, uh, I think, uh, a message to Depano TV. Uh, he's another streamer. Never really had an issue with him. I don't really know what he's he's all about, but he seems like an okay guy, and from what I've heard. And uh, so while the Depano is like streaming, he's, while he's streaming, um, the owner of the of the Discord messages him and says uh, some stuff like this. You can read this for yourself. And uh, pr pretty hilarious stuff. We had a good laugh about this on stream. And, uh, you, you know, it's like this game gets pretty sweaty. So try not to let it get to you to this level, right? I mean, I, you know, we've all been there, right? We've all been triggered by the game. Um, but this kind of stuff is, uh, I, I thought was pretty interesting, right? Uh, anyways, that is uh, that is the video. And uh, I hope that you guys are, are having a good um, league and ritual. I hope you guys are completing your atlas and all that stuff. Um, what's coming next? I think next I'll make a video either on like how to block sextants for poison, how to... Um, Maybe like what to do when you reach maps as a new player or when you get awakened or eight. Like what do I do? What do I do first? Um, it would make some Atlas videos. Maybe I'll make some build guide for my poison thing and how it's turned out, you know. Um, but you, you have to wait and see. You know, I'll, I'll make that video maybe later today, maybe tomorrow after stream. So um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, you guys uh, uh, want to ask me anything, uh, stream every day on twitch.tv slash dog underscore. You guys can uh, head over there and ask me there because it's kind of hard for me to get um, to read all the comments in uh, in YouTube videos and stuff like that. Okay, so love you guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. Okay, bye, bye guys, bye.